come into the business. Can't see any difference between uh, rap, hip hop, and big, maybe pop music well, going into well, the business. Well, the biggest difference is the internet. Yeah. The biggest difference is the internet. You know, we didn't have the internet back then. There wasn't the internet back then where it wasn't to where I could put a camera up and I could say, yo, my name is song, 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 song. I'm going to be a problem. Fuck everybody, whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Click and put that shit up there and the whole world see it tomorrow. Yeah. It wasn't like that. To be it, to, to, to get to get some kind of notoriety, you got to have you got to have a whole package back then. It was niggas that had hit records, and Jerry Rogan, he can he can verify. If you didn't have no show, nigga, please. If you didn't have no show, you was getting worked. Boom, bad reputation. Yeah, you know, was getting worked. Boom, bad reputation and everything. You just all that walking on stage with a towel just back and forth. And <laughs> <laughs> we can get away with it now. We can get away with it now, but we still try not to. We still try to get out and try to stop and do our thing a cappella and have a DJ come back or whatever, but, you know, especially with the alcoholics. And I keep saying that because that was a group to me that was, and me and Q talk about it all the time, and I, look, and I ain't just saying because I me, I tell Jerry all the time. There, it was only a handful of, of cats that was doing, you know, what they quote unquote call hip-hop music back then and really wasn't getting, you know, the recognition from the West Coast, it was them, the far side, hieroglyphics, you know, it was just, it, 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 and they always, they came with a concept, concept with this shit with, you know, the alcoholics, but they was in there with some lyrical rhyme shit, you know what I'm saying, and everything, but they was still alcoholic, it was, a, it was something everybody can relate to, and, you know, when they did shows and everything, they be fucking it up with their routines, when me and Aladdin got out, we didn't have routines. To this day, when you, if you ever know, if you never saw Ice Cube and Dub C, Ice Cube show, you see both of us on stage with crazy tunes in the back. We be going back and like we about to fight, all that stopping, and we go. Now it ain't just relying on the hit records. And today, the big difference that I see now is the whole package. When I say the whole package, I mean having a hit record but having a strong stage show. What I ain't talking about pyro blowing up and all that old bullshit. I'm talking about niggas really getting out there, and going, going in. So. The internet to me is a big crutch right now for a lot of artists, you know, but also too, the internet, you know, it was a guillotine for a lot of artists as well because the download and everything, record sales is not there like they used to be. And if you were artists that were just relying on record sales to, you know, to, 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 to survive out here, you fucked up, you fucked up. So, you know, if people ain't loving you because they can see through you, see you bullshit, you faking you, one day you rap, you know, you do this kind of music, tomorrow you're doing this kind of music, and they're not gonna fuck with your fans, it's not stupid. Not at all. Not at all. I've been in the game for a long time, <coughs> but I still can go out, and I can still go go to concerts, go to clubs or whatever and everything, and I can still rock the party. Any other questions? Yeah. Got any uh, upcoming projects going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the middle of, uh, of a couple of projects. Uh, the first project, the most important project on top of the list right now is uh, Melee. You know, we got a uh, mixtape coming out called Hog Tied and Duct Tape, along with the album that we're working on with him. Uh, DJ Crazy Jones, another CT Expanse. Okay. I'm trying to rush him to finish that. Yeah. Uh, my album, I'm in the middle of my album. I'm working on it right now. I don't have no titles. I don't want to start throwing. I got a couple that I got, you know, lined up, but I don't want to throw my titles out there because I'm from the days when niggas do be biting. The motherfuckers yeah. still be biting. The motherfuckers are wrong with my shit, no, put out there, fuck yeah. the whole title yeah. up and everything. So. You know, I'm not going to put it out there until you know it's going down. Um, but yeah, we, we, we're just working hard. Like I said, I got the independent um, film company yeah. that I'm putting together. Um, got a documentary that I'm working on right now. That's, you yeah. know, that's, I'm halfway through, so I'm just working right now. I'm more on the business side right now. I still got my, got my hand on the rap game. Me and Q, we, we're going to Australia. We're leaving in April. I'm still on the road, not just from here. When I leave here, when Chubbs and Jerry will send me home, I'm coming home for a couple of hours, get a chance to go say what's up to my kids, kiss my wife, and I'm on a plane, me and Tunes, and man, I gotta show in Minnesota. I still tour, still get out off the catalog, you know, and I'm still in the studio with Hot 16s and, you know, and doing me, because I'm, 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 I'm in a position to where I don't have nobody telling me I gotta put the skinny jeans on and get out there and go do this and do that in order to make it. I don't have to sign a 360 deal in order to survive. Right. I can get out there and go do me because I own my masters. I don't work for yeah, masters. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good right now.
Right. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? What, what do you what do you want people to say when they say Dub C? Dub oh, Dub C. C. That was that was that dude. Man, that that was that dude. Man, stay <laughs> stuck to the script. When I say stick to the script, he he man, he kept it he kept it one way, and that was real. You know, we always hear the cliche, you know, keep it real, keep it real, keep it real. Dude, you know, you, and you know, j Roll, there's been so many different times that, you know, we could have jumped on a bandwagon. We could have did this kind of music. We could have did that. We could have did a lot of shit, man. And I just chose to say, you know, I'm going to stick, I'm going to stick to when I came in the game. You know, and by me doing that, it's when they write the book on Dub or whatnot and everything, you don't have to be no way. He went and, and he stood before Congress and he changed this. No, nah, fuck all that. My life, live the life I live, speak for me. It's something that me and my brother always live by. You know, that was something that was on blast in my big mama rest in peace funeral. Let the life I live, speak for me. And me, by me getting out of here and doing what I'm doing right now and, you know, and, and, and stand grounded with it. Fuck all that staying hood, staying street, I'm this and that. I stay grounded with what I'm doing and to me that's 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 what I want people to say. Great job, man. That's all good. Thank you. Man. It's all good. And uh, we will be outside selling t-shirts and uh, <laughs> 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 get your shit off though. Well, I'm not with see now, you know, if I really was up on my hustle game. I'll be having that, you know, that that, that, that that shirt for sale, the beanie and all that and everything. And the patch and shit. Yeah, the patch with the shoes, right? I got some Dove C shoes, though. I got some Dove C shoes. I went on 106 in Park last year, and, and I premiered them to the world. You know, we're working on getting them out there with distribution right now. Look out for them Dove C shoes, y'all.